live from Kakariko Village. Broadcast throughout the Retroverse Transmitted to the real world via a maze of wires Connecting a Super Nintendo to a Wii To a Wi-Fi network And finally to the internet The Techno Punk Boy presents The Retro Zoo Super Show Here are your hosts, Kai and Steven. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you have tuned in to 94.2 The Hook Shot. You know why we're here. We know why we're here. Everybody's here for Ice Hockey Night. It is the start of the season. That moment that every boy and girl lays dreaming a night about all summer long, the start of ice hockey season. I am Wayne Lumberson. I'm Ricky the Face McGillicuddy. I tell you what, I have been up all night long, all summer long, right alongside those boys and girls. I am ready, I am ready for the battle of the century to begin anew. Every year, these teams come together. They are ready to wage war. And that's what is going to happen here tonight on Ice Hockey. Tonight, we're your hosts. We are are on the edge of our seats. We are ready to go. We may be ready to go, but the teams have just taken the ice for their warm-up. So we, we do have to bide our time just a little bit longer. I don't, know, I don't know if I can do that, Wayne. Well, that's kind of what our job is. So figure a speech, Wayne. Okay, well, sorry. Uh, as we said, ice hockey. Classic, classic, classic title from Nintendo. 1988 was the year, and I have to tell you, this game has held up. That's absolutely right, Wayne. This game has held up just fine. People all over the world are still playing this game. They are playing on their modern consoles. It has been re-released multiple times. Who would have thought back in 1988 that here, here and now, 30 years later, we'd be watching this game being played right before our very eyes. USA versus Poland right here tonight. That is right. Three periods of hockey action coming to you right now, right now, here on 94.2, The Hook Shot. Before we get started, let us pause for just a moment for station identification. I think you already identified this. Well, we, it's kind of in our contract, Ricky. It's kind of in our contract. All right, well, let's do that then. Okay. 94.2 The Hook Shot, the most triangle wave in all of Hyrule. As we're revving up, the teams are are taking their warm-up shots, the goalies are stretching, they are getting ready. Now, for those who are unfamiliar with this game, Ricky, face, my friend, can you tell them a little bit about what's going on? Well, that's right, this is an NES version of the classic sport ice hockey there are a couple of differences that you're going to find as we are here tonight you are going to see that we have four players on the ice for each team plus the goalie that's a total of five 
Most of the hockey rules do apply. If you get into a fight, you might land yourself in the penalty box. If you hit the puck from way across the ice and it and it crosses behind the goal line, you might be called for icing. Pretty much all of the other penalties are gone. There's there's no hooking here. There's no grabbing the stick. There's no tripping. There e- you can't even stab someone with your skate. I think that's a pity. I think they should have brought that in. Well, you know, it's 1988. It is a little bit of a, you know, this the, the games at the time couldn't be too, too complicated. What they did, what Nintendo does best, is they stripped it down. They got to the core. What is fun? That is the question that Nintendo asked. And I have to tell you, their formula, it worked just fine. Indeed, it did work fine. Here we are 30 years later, and we are still playing this game as we pause for just a moment the teams are gathering together they are receiving their last minute instructions from their coaches tonight the usa team will be coached by kai from the techno funk boy the poland team will be coached by the computer i have to tell you the computer not a bad player in this game they're relentless. They 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 like to shoot. They like to take multiple multiple shots on goal. They like to get their players in position and get ready. The computer does have one one really notorious problem, and that is if you come straight at the goal, the goalie has a tendency to guess one way or the other with your shot so if you shoot it right down the middle there's a pretty good chance that you are going to be able to make it but you've got to get through the defenders to get to that point that is absolutely right now kai on the other hand is notoriously bad at defense oh that's right he's just he's he's really quite terrible yes he is he's quite bad and so the goal here for him tonight is going to be rack up as many goals as possible to get ahead of that Poland team and to make sure that he succeeds in this in this adventure. Here we are. We are at the moment where we are picking not only the times, we are not only picking the speed, but we are picking the players. We're going to go with a two-speed tonight. Now, now Kai has told me directly he likes to play at five-speed. He likes the fast game. He likes it just kind of at a breakneck speed. But he was concerned with us that we were going to have a difficulty keeping up with the commentary as we go. And so he's toned that down just a little bit. And we're going to find out that that's going to be a little bit easier for us to follow. That's right. We're going to stick with the seven-minute periods. Hockey, of course, has three periods. That is three periods of seven minutes each. Now, Face, tell me about the players. What's Kai probably going to line up with? I have to tell you, as many times as I've watched Kai play, I have never seen him use the skinny player. It's been... I, 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 I asked him about that once. He told me he doesn't like the skinny player. They're fast. They're very good at face-offs, but they're terrible shots, and they get run over in every encounter. And so, especially at the high speed like Kai likes to play, it's just, they're very c- difficult to control, and they normally end up flat on their butts on the ice. That's right. And we do see that he is switching out his skinny player with a medium sized player which means that he is going to enter this match with three medium sized players and one large player yeah one of the distinctives of ice hockey by nintendo is that you pick one of three player types for each of your four players on the ice your goalie is going to remain the same but you got your skinny guy, you got your fat guy, and you got your guy in between. Your big guy is slow as molasses in January, but man, oh man, does his shot go fast. Likewise, if you get into an encounter with your big guy, your big guy's probably going to steamroll whoever he's up against. The little guy, again, very good in the face-off, 
blinding speed, but he's going to find himself on the ice as much, if not more, than when he's on his skates. He's also going to have difficulty shooting. That's right, and our middle guy is kind of the average of all abilities. Guy normally does like to play with the average guy almost exclusively, but he did keep one large player in. Can you tell me why, Face? Yeah, that's quite simple. So, one thing about the Poland team is is their size is below average for the team. Normally on these teams, you might see two middle guys, you might see a big guy and a skinny guy. Poland actually has two skinny guys and one of the other two. So Kai's strategy here is to basically steamroll the other team. He's not going to be able to keep up speed-wise, but with size and power, he has the distinct advantage. Okay, we are getting ready to start. The players are coming out to the ice as we speak they are lining up interesting interesting both teams have put their big guy in the uh, in the center circle ready to take the face off this player is normally the worst at the face off but with both sides using him we are about to see the puck drop at the beginning of this the first game of the season it is time. It is hockey season. It is beginning now. And the puck drops. Poland has it. He got it. Got it to the skinny guy. He shoots, but USA, USA's defense takes it. A little scuffle on the ice between the big fellas for each team. A shot goes wide. USA recovers, and it's going down the ice. Coming right down the middle, that's Poland's weakness, but the shot is blocked. Two shots by Poland. Both both blocked. Another two. The last one into the glove of the goalie. The goalie has passed it to the, to the big fella for USA. Up the middle. Shot blocked. Another scuffle, but Poland recovers. Pass between the skinny fellows, and the goalie has caught it. Now we're heading down the field again. Another scuffle. Both teams are being very aggressive so far. That's really interesting. That's exactly what I expected to find so so far. Both of these teams want to win this opener really bad, and they have come out, and they are ready to go. Poland shoots. It is blocked again. The goalies are working overtime today. Poland has recovered the puck. Now it's a fight. No, no, it is not called a fight. The puck goes wide. Poland recovers. Now USA has it. Up the court and down the middle. Is that it? Is that it? Two shots. No, it is out. Poland again. USA is having difficulty setting up their defense. A shot. No. Another shot. Two, two shots blocked by the defenders. USA immediately gives up the puck again. And another shot is caught by the goalie. Now USA has come up up the side and has scored. That's really fast. We still we actually only have 1 minute 48 left in this period, but USA is on the board. It's only a one one goal lead and Poland's shots are relentless. That was four shots on goal. Like like we like we predicted, USA's defense is struggling here. Well, what? Look at that! Oh my goodness! Oh, I almost missed that. It happened so fast. The puck was slowly rolling toward the USA goal, and the goalie just seemed to trip right after out of the way. The score is one-one. USA wins the faceoff and immediately scores. See, that's that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see them respond immediately. You lost the lead, you take the lead back. Exactly, the face off again. USA wins, but then misses the puck. Two shots by the, by the one of the smaller players, but they are both blocked. The goalie, despite this being a three score game already, has done, has done quite well in defending their goals. All right, we're coming to the end of the 
first period right here. And I have to say, this this game so far has been 100% defense. The whistle has blown, and the players have retreated back to their benches. And with that, we will break for station identification. 94.2, the hook shot, the most triangle wave in all of Hyrule. Hey, it's Kai here. We recently finished our latest EP, Quest of the Dragon Warrior. It's an electronic tribute to Dragon Warrior and the amazing music that game gave us. We're really excited about how this music came out, and we want you to have it for free. If you go to technofunkboy.com slash dragonwarrior and sign up for our weekly newsletter, you'll get the songs to download and keep for free forever. That's technofunkboy.com slash dragonwarrior, or check the show notes for a link. Welcome back. We have just wrapped up the first period, and we have a close match so far, a very defensive match, a match between the goalies. We've had ridiculous amounts of shots on goal, but USA has found the net twice, and Poland only once. This is as close as this game could be, unless it were just slightly closer. That's right. It is literally impossible to get any closer without being tied than it is right now. So what are we going to see in the second period? Well, I'll tell you one thing that we're going to see. We've got to see Kai pull his defense together. This has been literally his weakness for 30 years of playing this game. He is so focused on getting the goalie around that he's not pulling his players in. That is exactly what we've seen. Kai is very skilled in getting that goalie around, but with no other players nearby to grab to grab the rebounds, to grab the puck, the goalie is doing all the work all by himself. And that's exactly what we see happen. Shot after shot after shot. He lets them keep coming until they score and that is something that he's got to stop you're going to find that normally usa has a has a really good uh shot percentage but if they miss they almost never get the rebounds and that's because the computer is much better at controlling his defense than usa is the players have retaken the ice and we are about to join the action again in the first period USA has switched out the big guy for one of the medium guys in the faceoffs. that's a good move but Poland has won the faceoff this time another shot by the little guy I'm not sure why they're not using their big guy more both players go, coming into the crease and the goalie takes care of it Poland comes back down shoots wide Shoots behind the goal, into the corner, twice into the corner, three times into the corner. That one went behind the goalie, but did not go in and bounced away. We have seen no fewer than seven shots on goal. Kai has got to get his defense together. The goalie has... Oh, and he scored just like that. That's, that's exactly what I've been talking about. Kai has a remarkable shot, uh, shot on goal percentage. But his defense is terrible, so you're going to see Poland has many more shots on goal than USA does, even though USA is winning. And USA is only winning by one now because Poland has already responded with another goal. The face-off, Poland wins. But just like just like uh, the USA had planned, the, their big defender just runs over both of the skinny Poland uh, players. Poland takes the, the puck into the corner. The goalie blocks two and then snags it with his glove. USA has the puck heading down the ice. Oh, it's immediately taken out by the big guy. Poland shoots no, no goal. USA's large fella has it. He gives it up to Poland. Another shot. This one very, very...
very long shot from the other side of the blue line. It is blocked. This one, another shot. A third shot. Oh, that one was taken straight by USA. He goes to the corner. A bad, bad shot by USA. Kai should know that the frontal shots are the ones that are going to win this game, not ones from the corner. The computer is very good at defending those corner shots. Scuffle on the ice between the two big guys. It is not called a penalty. Goalie shoots it out to the USA uh, team, but... Oh, but Poland's big guy steals the puck back and shoots it in. It was a pretty corner shot. Very, very, very skilled. Very precise. It's the face-off. USA would have won it, except their players got run over by the sheer size of the Polish defender. USA has recovered the puck, heading up the ice, taken away at mid at mid ice. Back the other side. Shot. No. Shot. No. Another one? No, this one was blocked, and that is the end of the second period. Well, that now the game is all tied up, and the exact opposite of the first period happened in the second in the second period. Poland gets two, USA gets one. In the third, USA has got to learn to defend their their part of the ice. Yes, we've seen that. That is the remarkable weakness of this team, and it is only because uh, it is only because of the computers just very very poor goaltending against the frontal shot that USA is still in this they have taken good good advantage of that weakness but we see that the weakness in Kai's defense is much much more intense than the, the weaknesses that Poland has yeah I, I have to say this, this is going to come down to the wire. It is a tie game right now. We're going into the last period. I, 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 I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know which way this is going to go. USA has the much, much, much better offense. But Poland has a far superior defense. A far superior defense, perhaps, but not a superior goalie. And that might be the deciding factor. That has been the deciding factor so far. The USA team has blocked many, many more shot attempts than the Polish goalie has. So we are going to break for station identification, and we will be right back with your final period of this, the opening game of the ice hockey season. 94.2 The Hook Shot, the most triangle wave in all of Hyrule. This is Phil from Phil's Gaming Emporium, philsgamingemporium.com. You like hockey, we like hockey. In fact, we love it so much that we have invented Phil's Nintendo Ice Hockey Ice Hockey Puck. That is right, we've taken the ice hockey game, we have taken out all the innards, and we have put it into a real ice hockey puck. This is an amazing thing. Now, you can't actually use it as a puck because, you know, it's got electronics and breakable things inside. Also, it doesn't actually fit anymore into the Nintendo, but it's going to be a conversation starter, and that's the important thing. When people come over, they're like, oh, you like ice hockey, and you're like... Yes, in fact, I like ice hockey so much, that puck has the game ice hockey in it. And they'll say, really? That's incredible. Let's play it. And you're going to say, of course we can play it because you've already downloaded it on your Switch. Brilliant. You're going to be the life of the party, my friend. PhilsGamingEmporium.com We are back and we are watching the three Zamboni clean the ice. This is everyone's favorite part, the Zamboni song. I gotta tell you, I've, 30 years, I'm still not tired of watching those guys go. Yes, it is. It's mesmerizing, really. It's, it's, it's quite fulfilling.
the ice is clean, the ice is ready, and the players are coming on to the ice ready for this final period, the final seven minutes of play. Of course, those aren't real minutes. They That clock goes remarkably fast. USA already has one shot on goal for the, for the period. It missed, but Poland's four shots also have missed. Five now, but now the goalie has caught the puck. USA in a break. No, the defender has gotten it, but the puck is stolen. It's back to, oh, the big USA player shot three times, the third one finding the corner of the net. That was remarkable persistence. That's actually the most persistence we've seen out of this USA offense all game. It's the first time they've needed to be so persistent, but wow, it's USA has taken the puck back a couple of times now. Now three times their defense has stepped stepped up, it appears. Another shot on goal, another block, another shot. This one's taken by the Polish defend, uh, defender, and we are going to the other side of the ice. USA goalie has caught the puck. USA drives it in, has it taken at the net. Oh, a remarkable pass off the boards, but that shot is blocked. USA's goalie has it. He shoots it out to mid, mid ice. Oh, what a, what a pass, but that is taken by the big guy on the Polish team. He has the puck back. He shoots it. That's going to be icing. That's an icing call. That's our first icing call of the game. Yeah, it actually looked like he was trying to pass there, but he missed, he missed his teammate there. Poland has switched out their face-off player. USA tries to shoot, but he, get, he gets roughed up before he can let the puck fly. Poland has it. Missed shot. Trying to get it out in front. The goalie taking the corner. Oh! Bounced off the goalie's stick into the hands of another shot. And this one across across the crease into the corner. It is a 4-4 game. Poland with the puck. Coming up. Pass. Coming to the outside. Shot. No. Now in the center. Two shots. No. USA's goalie has it. Passes it down the ice. Oh! I don't even know what I saw happen there. Yeah, it was actually a scuffle right in front of the crease and the puck came out and into the goal. USA has scored. It's a minute 22 remaining in the, in the USA team has another point on the board. The crowd is going wild. We are in now the final minute of the game. Poland with a fast break. Oh, but he blows it. He turns around to get his teammates. He should have just gone for it. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Now USA is just trying to run down the clock. We have 20 seconds left. They mosey across the ice and shoot. They miss. Poland with a break. Trying to get it. Trying to shoot. Trying to find an opening. But they do not. It is the end of game. That's it. USA has won it. 5-4. to four. That's incredible. Yes, I... I have to say, we saw a, a just a great rally of the defense on the USA team at the very end there. We had in every single period there, it was a 2-1 game. The first period belonged to USA with 2-1. The second period belonged to Poland, and the score was 3-all. And then in the final period, again, 2-1, two, two, and the final score is 5-4. Yeah, yeah, the USA's defense really pulled together there at the end. They kept the puck on the right side of the ice, and that has made all the difference. That is absolutely right. That is absolutely right. Now we are going down to the ice right now with our with our associate, Stefan Stevens. Stefan, tell us about this game. Well, I have to say that it was uh, just a remarkable game, and um, and the, the the teams I I I, I can't I can't explain the feelings, the the emotion going through this stadium today. That the there the was there was a barely a dry eye in the house. There was a barely 
a chair used the entire game. Everyone was on their feet. Everyone was making noise. It was it was truly remarkable. We we have we have with us here um, the uh, the the big guy from USA, um, Mr. Mr. Big. Uh, tell tell us tell us how you feel. Well, I don't know. You know, I gotta say that I'm I'm <clears throat> I'm not I'm not totally pleased with with how things went for most of the game there, but we pulled it together at the end. I was sent in. I'm not normally I'm not normally sent in on this team, but I was sent in to to take out those two small guys and uh they those guys are wily. They played they played great hockey. They played really good hockey. They kept you know they they kept moving. They kept away from me and that that's what they were that's what they were out there to do. And I was out there to catch him, and it was, it, you know, I, I didn't feel like until the very end that we really came together and w- were able to, uh, to, to counter him. That's very interesting, Mr. Big. I, I have to say, though, that you know that 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 assessment is is dead on. You y'all, uh, the USA team, their your shots were just impeccable. You were very high percentage in the net. You kept finding the net all night long. But on the defense, the the really the only thing that saved you was your goalie. Yeah, I have to say, you know, our, our goalie is top notch. He's very good. I uh, de- definitely the MVP of today. I I've, I've been just just so impressed with 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 everything that that he's accomplished today, and I'm really looking forward to the season. Uh, I I think we have I think we have a really good team. So now that you've you've faced someone this season, you have a win under your belt. What 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 do you go? What do you take with you into practice tomorrow? Well, I think that I I think that defense. I mean, I think that's that's going to be the secret of the season is defense, and uh, we've we've just got to get back on our side of the ice faster. We've got to we've got to recover the puck. We've got to get it out of there, and that's something that that we we just struggle doing, and we, you know, we just let you know shot after shot go up against our goal, and um, you know, thankfully most of them were blocked, but that's just uh, that's just unacceptable, and that is not going to win us the pennant. With Mr. Big, thank you so much, Wayne. Face back up to you. You've heard it here f- first, folks. The game is five to four. The game is USA's game. This they have begun their season with a win, and and I know that they are hoping for many more in the days to come. Face, what do you think of USA's chances this season? Well, I think their chances are really good. I mean, they've got great offense. They've got a great goalie, and in a game like ice hockey. Uh, that's, you know, that's two of the three pillars right there. Now, what we've got to do is get the defense going. And if you can recover the puck after it's been blocked the first time, instead of letting them take three or four shots, then then things are going to go very, very well for them. I must say I agree. That is indeed going to be the secret for the season. That is going to do it for us today. Please join us tonight on 94.2 The Hook Shot, where we will be doing more in-depth analysis of today's game, tell you about other games in the conference, and let you know what to expect this season. But in the meantime, we will return you to your previously scheduled program that we have interrupted to bring you this game. But for me, Wayne Lumberson, bid you good night. Absolutely. I'm Ricky the Face McGillicuddy. Find us on Twitter, and we will be back next week for the next game in the series. We're looking forward to it. This is going to be a fantastic season. This is what we've all been waiting for all year long. And I, for one, I'm ready to rock and roll. Indeed, indeed. Good night, everyone. That is going to do it for our series on Zelda 2. I really hope that y'all liked, y'all enjoyed that, uh, that 
uh, that that little production that we just did. Uh, I, I have to say that it took a lot of work. Um, and thank you all so much for coming in and uh, and doing that with us. Um, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Drum one. We were not being aired. Wait, what? We have been preempted. What do you What do you mean preempted? What? We were we were doing our great Zelda two finale with. I mean, look at all these people. Oh. We were preempted for the hockey game. Oh wait, it was USA versus Poland today, right? Affirmative. Oh well, of course, yeah. I wish them, yeah, yeah. Would ex- that makes sense then? Um, can all of you come back next week? We can do this whole thing over again. No! Come, come on, please, come on. This was so good. Drum, did we record it? Negative. Crap. Guys, come on, come on, come on. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Just forget what they're saying. We're going to do it. We're, we're going to be back next week and we're going to f- finish up that, the Zelda 2 series. Um, I guess thank y'all for joining us or the game or whatever you actually heard. Um, and we'll be back next time. Wait, wait, hold on before you, before you go. Uh, if, for those of you who might be interested, uh, Wayne and Face were actually announcing a game that I did play, uh, with, uh, on Nintendo's, uh, classic ice hockey game that, um, we recorded and put the game itself on YouTube. And so if you, if you if you start the game where where the the puck drops when uh when they say that it it's going to drop you can more or less follow along with the announcers now now the game was moving a little bit more quickly than Wayne had time to keep up and so the the timing the timing of what he's announcing versus what he's seeing is 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 off a little bit but you can more or less do that the one thing you're going to have to do is pause between periods a bit because well that's that's how we recorded we extended those breaks and and put in commercials and that sort of thing so that it it kind of felt more like a like a broadcast of the show itself so we put the link to the that that YouTube video in the description, and so feel free to take a look at that. There's 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 no commentary on that video at all, but you can uh, fair, fairly or fairly reasonably sync it up to the show itself, and so watch what I actually play. And um, I think their assessment of my defense is pretty darn accurate. So. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next week.